Good morning and welcome to Flucatronic. Today we're going to be continuing our tips series. If you missed the first two, the tips stands for theory into practice. And we'll be taking a look at small bites of music theory and how to apply those to your practice uh, just to increase your knowledge, increase your enjoyment of music. And what we've been talking about so far is this idea of transposing instruments and treating instruments like the whistle, um, which come in different keys. So the most common key of whistle is a D whistle, a uh, key of high D major. This is actually a C whistle, as you can probably tell by the title of the video. Thinking in C, I think of all of my whistles as a C whistle. And I realize that is at odds with uh, a lot of folks in the, in the whistle community uh, that think of their primary instrument as a D whistle. And so we'll get into some of the differences and how you can apply this principle to your practice um, in just a few moments. But for me, this is my primary whistle. And regardless of what whistle I'm holding, even if it's a D whistle or a low F, low E flat, whatever, um, I think of that as one of these, a C whistle. So what I mean by that, and I'll show you the chart here. So this is how, if I'm reading music, I'm thinking of these notes, that all fingers covered is the C note. Then D, E, F, G, a, all fingers open is B, and then I won't do the whole second octave, but the uh, the high C starts the second octave, and then it goes up from there. All right, so that is my system. Uh, when I'm reading music, it's going to be in in that system where where all holes covered is C, all holes open is B, and and so on. So it doesn't mean that all my charts are in C major. That'll make more sense in probably the next video or the video after that. I'll 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 talk about wrapping all this together with with different charts and how this applies to the different instruments, and, and hopefully they'll start making a little more sense. Um, at that point. So uh, I promised we'd come back to the D whistle. So if you um, are used to thinking in terms of uh, Irish traditional music, most of your charts will be in the key of D. So it looks like this. Um, so you can still use this principle. Um, the point is that you're developing a system of thought that w when you see this low note on your D chart, you're thinking, you're not even thinking, it's just muscle memory takes over. But what that low D note on your chart means all fingers down, um, all fingers up means a C sharp to you and, and so forth. And, and that's fine. So <clears throat> you can use a D whistle as your home base, if you will. And, and all these principles will work just fine. And again, uh, the next video, when I start pulling this together with charts in different keys and kind of fitting those with instruments in different keys, hopefully a lot of this will start coming together um, and to focus even more. Um, but that's really all we needed to cover today, thinking in C for the whistle. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time on Flucatronic.